we're back from a week off, aren't we, Doc? Yes. And you are so glad. Because you missed it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't even make it. You didn't even take it there. You just went, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we've got a couple questions for you. We'll get this over with quick so you can get on your weekend and into your new year. Are you excited for the new year? What's the questions? Okay, your first question. No, obviously, it's not going to give her quick as you, because you're talking. My nose is. What? what? No, I don't have no doubt. <laughs> okay, but no, okay. what's the first question? Your first question, Dr. Murphy, is this Is fat a misunderstood nutrient? Is fat? Fat. Well, you actually need fat. Yes, and that's why we want to know if it's misunderstood. Well, you're too People much. People like, don't have fat. You can't have fat. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to die. You can't have fat. Well, it's it's actually or carbs. No, no, it's a misconception. All foods have fat. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's meat, vegetables. They all have mm-hmm. fat. A certain no. amount of fat. It's good fat. It's a minimal amount, but your body needs fat to survive. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. So I don't understand the question. Seventy-two grams of fat a day. That's not a lot. That's what I try to do. I don't. Yeah. That's 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 fine. Well, we just want to know if it's misunderstood because the big thing is people always try to avoid carbs and fat. Like, no. they shouldn't have it. It's like, well, you got to have some of it. Yes. To survive, or you'll die. Correct. And so there's essential fatty acids. You have to have mm-hmm. those. Those are essential. There's some that are not essential, like pork rinds. You don't need those. Those yeah. are not essential. You know? But they're so good. Oh, they're well, low carb. <laughs> I, think they're, I think they're disgusting. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love pork rinds. Oh my god. I, mean, you, I you don't know, eat them. I know, they, they cut the fat off the pig and they soak it in grease till it bubbles up and becomes crispy. And you like awesome. that. Awesome. Oh, God. Yeah. I think they're gross. I think they're super good, but I don't have them. Why? Because they're not good for you. <laughs> no, that is, that is a bad thing. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, so I guess you would say then it is misunderstood. Yeah. I mean, you, you need a certain level of all the nutrients. Of essential fatty acids, yes. Carbs, protein, fat. Even when you're in the hospital and somebody's feeding you in the vein, they're going to give you uh, fat in your vein. Yeah. You have to have it. Yeah, but don't get too much. Don't get out of control. Is there a limit you should have at a certain I mean, these are generic guidelines we're giving people. You know, I think anywhere from 70 to 200 milligrams of fat a day. Gosh, 200 milligrams seems like a lot. No, grams. Oh, grams. But that seems like a lot. Not really. Seems like a lot. Depends on your weight. 200 milligrams, or 200 grams is roughly... What, 100, 100 dollar bills? I mean, it's a good size. Jeez, that seems like a lot. You need to consult your doctor. It's a, it's a weight. It's a weight. <laughs> yes. Not a These are generic. Weight. Anyway, yes. So it's you need to have it. So don't get out of control. And a lot of it depends on your activity and what you're doing during the day and if you're working yeah. out and exercising versus sitting on your butt driving yeah. the truck. Yeah. It's important. I try to have 72 grams of fat a day. <laughs> so our next question, since we're talking about fat, is kids in fast food. What are your oh, thoughts on kids and fast food? Don't. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, you know, and I get it. I mean, these parents, they take their kids, you know, ball games, and if it's not baseball, it's soccer, basketball, volleyball. I mean, yeah. the games don't get over until 9 o'clock at night. The only thing that's open at 9 o'clock at night is fast food, and yeah. parents don't want to cook, and I can't say so, I blame them, but, you know, you can make healthier choices. Try Subway, some, you know, vegetable pizzas, I mean, yeah. stuff like that, but try to stay away from fast food as much as you can with those kids. Yeah. You're teaching them bad habits. That's exactly right. That's my problem with it. It's not that every once in a while fast food for anybody isn't going to kill you. It's not the worst thing in the world. But it isn't a great choice usually, even though there are some good options. You have to look those up in advance. If, if you know that your schedule this week's going to be insane and you have this ball game to go to, this ball game, and life will be insane, look up plan in advance ahead. places. Yeah, plan, plan ahead. ahead. If you're going to plan ahead to eat fast food, then plan the choices that are better. Like uh, um, the McDonald's, um, they have like a, a chicken, Southwest chicken salad. Relatively low calorie if you have the grilled version. And then you've got to consider, okay, okay. No, 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 you've got to consider we have to dressing. This. We have to play this out logically. Because okay. kids with the salad probably isn't a good idea. That's a mm-hmm. mess in the back of the car. <laughs> uh, you really think the kids can eat a salad. From McDonald's. That's a good boy. That's an incredible. I'm thinking more parents. Now, oh, I parents. Am too. I am too. Okay, it's ten o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. I'm in the drive thru I'm tired. I've been watching these stupid games all day long. Yeah. And now I'm going to have to argue with a kid for the next two hours. I don't want to say it. I want to. Yeah, don't blame it. That's a good point. Yeah. I'm getting happy meal, so you shut up. Yeah. Yeah. 
So man, kids, kids are a mess. It, it's it's tough. It's tough to raise them. Yeah. And there's a lot of pushback. Yeah. The other option is you could always pack snacks. You could always pack a little little sandwich that isn't overstuffed, and maybe a um, some fruits, fresh fruits and veggies. Now your kids might balk at it, but in the beginning, but you know, once again, you're creating good habits. Yeah, they want to go hungry. I'll go hungry and go starve. Yeah, they'll be fine. Kids are gonna be fine. You're about to go for 28 days without eating. Yeah, yeah. I love snacks. I'm a huge fan of snacks. If we're traveling, we've got a million things going. I always have snacks. I always try to pre-portion my snacks so I don't just have a big bag of whatever <coughs> laying around that I just eat on as I'm bored driving down the road. I try to have a certain amount of snacks. Um, again, certain amount of protein, carbs, fats, um, if you want to get real crazy. But if pork you have rinds. ideas, yeah, yeah, pork rinds. If you have ideas on that, um, they wanted to know in, in terms of advice, what do you think about fast food? I guess the, uh, the thing is, if that's all you have to do, plan ahead. And but you, not a great habit to start. And when you do fast food, there is good choices at most fast food restaurants. Yeah. You just got to choose Better smart. choices. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Good luck with kids. Pop is never a good choice. I don't even care who you are. If you want to be mad at me about pop, you can be mad because I think it's the worst. Be mad at me too. It is bad. Now, if you see me drinking a diet pop, don't judge me. It happens every once in a while. <laughs> so, but it's terrible for you. I think that's really all we have for today. Okay. I think we should be done. Because I'll save the other questions for next week. People can get on with their lives. You good with that? Have a good Friday. Have a good Friday. Share this video with your friends if it's any good. And if not, don't share it. But come back next video. It'll be better. <laughs> I'll see you guys next Friday.